Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, August 3rd, 2012. Our first story comes from the world of energy technology. A researcher from the University of West Florida has designed an ultracapacitor that can sustain steady voltage upon discharge. You may have noticed that conventional rechargeable batteries wear out over time, able to hold slightly less energy with every cycle. These batteries hold energy through capacitors in which two charged plates of opposite charge are separated by an insulating material. Ultracapacitors are a modification of common capacitors and are designed to hold more energy by using unique materials. Currently, most ultracapacitors achieve this by using a layer of porous activated carbon which coats the charged plates. Up until now, ultracapacitors were severely limited by their inability to maintain steady voltage while they discharge. Steady voltage of at least 3.5 to 5 volts is essential for common battery-powered devices to work. But the majority of the charge in ultracapacitors is stored below 1 volt. To solve this issue, a prototype was designed and tested, in which the charged plates are suspended in an electrolyte solution. During discharge, the plates are lifted out of the insulating solution, decreasing the plate's ability to hold charge. This increase in electron flow also increases the voltage, and it's possible to calibrate the rate at which the plates are lifted out of the solution in order to output steady voltage. The prototype managed to produce a voltage range of 4.6 to 4.9, and this constant voltage mechanism used more than 99% of the charge stored in the capacitor. Further improvements include making the capacitor mobile and usable at different angles, as well as using other types of newer, higher energy density ultracapacitors. Next is an update from the world of chemistry. Scientists at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory have designed a new catalyst for the production of energy from hydrogen. As you probably know, much work is going into hydrogen and other chemical fuel cells to replace fossil fuels. These fuel cells will produce electricity without spewing carbon dioxide, producing water or other less harmful byproducts. Now a major issue with this kind of technology is the cost. Hydrogen fuel cells need a catalyst to speed up the reaction. One of the most effective catalysts is the metal platinum, which as we've mentioned on Brainstorm before, is extremely rare and expensive. In order to create a cheaper catalyst, the scientists took inspiration from nature particularly the hydronase enzyme. It's a protein that efficiently breaks and reforms hydrogen molecules, a major component of it being iron or nickel. So they synthesized and analyzed some iron complexes with a metal core and long chain-like molecules called pendant amines. These amines contain specifically placed nitrogen atoms and are important to the speed of the catalyst, as they help move protons away from the reaction. Development of this catalyst is still preliminary, but using a mix of hydrogen and deuterium, analysis with NMR spectroscopy confirmed that the catalyst works. Successfully breaking hydrogen molecule bonds at room temperature and in mild basic solution. Those are the chemical conditions that would exist inside an ordinary hydrogen fuel cell, and hopefully further research will make them cheaper and more common. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.